name was John Eric Henry. And he was our town's Al Capone. He was a quiet man, probably triggered by his mother's incident. She was walking to her car from work one night, and one of the janitors followed her. She was brutally raped and strangled. Why? No one knows. But it set something off in John. It's fair to point out that John's family had been allegedly involved in organized crime since his great-great-grandfather in the 1930s. In John's mind, he was helping anyone who was deemed hopeless, much like his mother that night. Helps he was bringing the money to. Robert Delta was one of John's close associates. And you know, the guy's on his way. He ran a blue polo. Nikki V was also right. John's associate, and probably closest friend. He's on his way. Blue polo. Apparently, the guy wearing a blue polo kept grabbing this Hernando's girlfriend's ass. Hernando didn't like this. However, John and his crew hadn't toyed with the idea of killing anyone. Until now. I didn't rape her, John! I swear! I swear! This goes back a week ago, at one of their celebrations. Hey, check it out, it's little Tommy Carlo. Speechless. You know my great-grandma is Elizabeth Taylor. Alright, Nick, we'll cut out the stories, okay? I wonder when the battery's gonna die on this guy. <laughs> John had gone up a while ago because, like I said, quiet guy. John's sister Carly had just gotten home, and Nikki and Robert were just finishing up. Hey, you sticking around? Yeah, I'm just gonna clean up quick. Alright, I'll meet you up there. Hey, Nikki. What? Thanks. You're welcome. How are you? That was Nikki's story. Did you sleep with her? I did. I did, okay? She wanted to. She came on to me. That's not true. You know that, Nikki. Whoa. I'm sorry. It's all right. Where'd you go tonight looking all fancy? What? Nothing. Hey. You used to have a little crush on me, right? Nikki. Come on. What? Hey. This was Carly's story. John, I swear, okay? Just trust me. Shut up! Listen, I know what we did was wrong, okay? And I would probably never do it again. Probably? Never! I would never do it again. Okay? John, I know I had too much to drink that night. But she wanted it too. She came on to me. No, Nikki. You ripped my dress. What the hell, Nikki? What? Everything that's happened. My mother. I know, I know. And now my sister. No, John, no. I didn't do it. Now, how do I know all of this? One, most of this was common knowledge in our town. But this night, well, I was there. I was walking home from a friend's house when all this started going down. I can't believe you did this. You were like family. But now you betrayed mine. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I don't know, man. I wouldn't do anything to you, absolutely sure. Look at it, John. It's ripped.
What happened between Nikki V and Carly is still unknown to this day. But the only people who know about this night is John, Robert, Carly, and me. Thank you for letting us come in. As we continue to investigate the disappearance of Nicholas from Trina, we received a phone call from your mother shortly after he reportedly went missing, and she said she heard what sounded to be a gunshot near the backwoods of your house. Yeah, and she also said you were walking home that night as well. So what we want to know is, did you happen to hear or see anything the night he went missing? No.